In this video series, I want to demonstrate uh, a full piece from beginning to end. Um, so in this video, we're going to be going through the initial sketch and how I go through the drawing process. And in the following two videos, we'll be tackling the paper texturing and then finally final paint and design. So let's do this. So the basic concept of this piece is that there's this barbarian um, in battle with this large uh, tentacled creature. I kind of had a general uh, compositional idea before I started, so I didn't really uh, thumbnail this or really plan this out. Uh, I tend to like to um, kind of figure things out as I go along, more or less put a whole lot of planning into things. If I run into huge roadblocks, I'll kind of take a step back and uh, figure stuff out. But in general, I'm just trying to um, figure things out as I go. Okay, at this point, I've got the uh, character largely uh, sorted out, um, sort of. Uh, I've got him in place anyways. And I wanted sort of this um, S-curve composition. So I've got this uh, basic shape standing in for the tentacle creature so far, um, drawing a few little tentacles off of him. The concept was that this uh, creature also has a whole bunch of creatures built into it, so it's not just a, so it's not just a big octopus or something, but it's uh, something much more um, interesting, I guess. I had a whole bunch of um, sort of sea life uh, reference in front of me, so to um, extrapolate little bits and pieces from to better inform the uh, the creature I was designing, kind of on the fly. As you can see, the figure's already uh, changed quite a bit. I've changed uh, the leg positions. Uh, I decided at this point that the uh, head that I had drawn is uh, too low on the body, so I'm going to adjust that. I mean, part of, part of the fun here is both uh, fighting with this and then uh, coming up with things that you hadn't necessarily planned on. Um, as you'll see through this video, I, I go back and forth and uh, put things in, take things out. I mean, it's real back and forth. It's sort of like uh, fighting with the paper a bit or fighting with your own ideas, actually. So I've got the head better positioned on there. I'm still fighting with the sword arm. So I go back and uh, kind of work out some of the details on the creature. Got some sort of these uh, appendages coming off that he's holding on to. Trying to figure out where to put the sword that's in the uh, most sort of uh, dynamic place that I can put it that's also kind of going with the flow of the figure, how it will um, show action the best. Put in a few water features at the bottom. I'm trying to figure out uh, position to the ground. Every time I just sort of give up on the figure, I just kind of go back to the creature. I knew that I kind of wanted this um, kind of based on some sea creature things, but uh, I ended up kind of going back and forth with eyes, whether it should have eyes or not, and I eventually ditched all those. Um, here I'm drawing in sort of a you know, a big toothy mouth. A couple of them actually, so that there's a lot of dangerous things going on in this, uh, just this tentacle. I mean, the idea is that uh, this is just the tentacle to this thing, so who knows what uh, what other things are involved. Still trying to figure that arm out. It's just a big problem area at this point. <laughs> Got the creature largely blocked in, still fighting. After I after I turned the camera off, I, I still fought with his arm, and actually his right leg as well. Like nothing, it didn't didn't quite uh, read dynamically enough to me. It seemed it, still trying to figure out how to make it seem a little less passive and a little more aggressive. I'm just putting in the little, little finer things before we move on to the next stage, which is painting. 